This is not just a favorite destination for a tourist from all over the world. This is a city of contrasts, the place where West and East meet. And this is an extremely important place for all the movie spies. Oh yeah, three different James Bonds came here at different times. Hero got a Christie Road murder on the Orient Express and got herself into a detective story. Here Ben Affleck changed light bulbs in the cathedral. And of course, here's such a popular TV series, The Magnificent Century was born. Not everyone knows and loves it like Russians. And in this video I will tell about Istanbul as one of the most cinematic cities. Apparently the biggest role Istanbul has ever played was in the second part of the legendary James Bond series From Russia with Love in 1963. This is probably the most famous Hollywood blockbuster filmed in this city. Almost the entire city was involved. First, James Bond arrives at Atatürk airport, meets a beautiful Russian woman, makes love with her of course and walks around the Grand Bazaar. And also, a huge episode, very interesting, is connected with the main mosque of Hagia Sophia. An Orthodox church, then a mosque, then a museum, a UNESCO site, a mosque again. Inside we see a mysterious scene, which, however, deceives the viewer with its emptiness. Now it's full of people both day and night, and you will see it right now. At the entrance, everyone is asked to take off their shoes, because there is such a soft carpet on the floor. Not sure if James Bond did that with his expensive shoes. There was a lot of absurdity in the series. The Russians with all the stereotypes also got it, and the Turks themselves. But the city was shown as it should be. The film from Russia with Love continues in the Basilica Cistern, the most famous cistern of the city. According to the plot, it is located under the Russian embassy, which is not true. So, now you know. An interesting scene where Agent 007 floats along the tank in the boat with his assistant. There is not much water, plus two people in the boat, obviously for that shooting, water was specially collected there. My daily exercise. 11 in the morning and 3 in the afternoon. Moreover, in Andrei Kanchalovsky's famous TV series ADC, the basilica was set on fire. It was necessary to recreate the atmosphere of the kingdom of Hades. The Basilica Cistern is involved in another, no less popular film. This is also a whole anthology, Inferno, with Tom Hanks. One of the next parts of movie is based on The Vinci Code by Dan Brown. In Istanbul, Hanks' hero is trying to find and eliminate a dangerous virus. Does it remind you of anything by any chance? Maybe the film will give us all the answers to questions about the coronavirus. So, in the Basilica, we get another impressive scene. Sienna? Sienna? There are too many of us down here! You won't get to that bag before we do! No, but I can make sure it breaks. Fortunately, the Basilica is temporarily closed. It is under renovation. But this is not a problem. The other Basilicas are scattered throughout the city.
Lucille cistern was built until the mid 400s of our era, and only in 2010, during the demolition of the building, it was found safe and sound. Now everything here has been slightly modernized, retaining all the designs and adding multimedia projections. Now they make some shows here. Let's go back to James Bond. As I said before, he showed up here three times. There was also a film with Pierce Brosnan, The World Is Not Enough. And the last movie, Skyfall, was filmed here 50 years after the first appearance. The opening scene captured literally the entire old city, the Sultanahmet district, the Grand Bazaar. Say, here you want to squeeze everything tighter, put your wallet and phone in your underwear. There are too many people, and it's very smoky in here. No fresh air at all, though if you're sensitive to cigarette smoke, you can't stay long. If cinematic references are not enough for you, then here's a bonus for you. You can look into a restaurant that belongs to a meme from the internet. This is a man with spices. I always thought he was Italian, but actually he's a famous Turkish chef, Nusrit Gukcho, but no one can pronounce it, so it's just Salt Bay. He became a superstar just after one video, opened restaurants all over the world. He lives in New York and here you can find the restaurant in his personal statue. The freshest movie filmed in the Grand Bazaar is the remake of Charlie's Angels. Kristen Stewart and her girls were walking here as well. I bet they were not looking for some nice jewelry. Istanbul also played the role of another city, Tehran. It happened on the set of Ben Affleck's Oscar-winning film Argo. The film crew spent two weeks in Istanbul, employing more than 5,000 people. They rented more than 150 shops, streets and signs. All this Hollywood style. But when Affleck actually went forward, filming in the Hagia Sophia, he took and changed all 4,000 light bulbs, replaced the white light with the yellow, because it's more cinematic. I visited this cathedral and it seemed that they decided to keep the light bulbs. Agreed. Beautiful. Egyptian Bazaar, which is behind me. This is where the skyfall starts. Here Daniel Craig rides a motorcycle on the roofs of houses. They had to build some extra kiosks covering them so that everything could stand. Not all the locals actually were delighted, but the authorities supported the idea of filming. The market is not as big as the Grand Bazaar. There are still many spices, souvenirs, sweets. Everyone communicates, talks, and suggests something. And suggests something. I'm actually not a fan of that, but it looks very authentic. It would be a crime to come to Istanbul and not to say a word about the Turkish series The Magnificent Century. It's huge, at least in Russia.
The story of love affairs and fashions of Sultan Suleiman and his harem during the reign of the Ottoman Empire. In Russia, it seems that only the Brazilian TV series Clone had the same popularity. Many people now try to find the places where their favorite heroes have been, so there are even many tours. There is one but the series The Magnificent Century was filmed in pavilions in the suburbs of Istanbul, and apparently the one and only real location is the Petopkapi Palace. It's behind me. The gate and courtyard often appeared in the series, but that's it. So devralmak için yürüyen, yürüdüğü her adımda adalet arayacağına söz veren Osmanlı İmparatorluğu'nun 10. Sultanı. Imagine the series was filmed for several years. They couldn't have captured the palace for that amount of time. Or they could. The Lara Bridge, we could also see it on the big screen. The Girl on the Bridge, a drama with Vanessa Paradis and Daniel Otoy. He plays the knife thrower Gabor and Vanessa Parody is Adele, who tries to commit suicide. The beginning and end of the movie was shot here, and it has a lot to do with the plot. It's a beautiful black and white movie, stylish and sensual. I even wanted to copy the famous shot. Well, you see what happened. another famous tourist spot of Istanbul. I'm surprised it wasn't in every movie in a row, but at least it can be seen in another spy movie, Hitman. This is an adaptation of a computer game starring Timothy Oliphant and Olga Kurilenko. She, by the way, plays the mistress of the Russian president. They enter a restaurant, although it would be better to enjoy the views. Что ты там делал? Ел без меня? Дал мне возможность сбежать. Дал. Пошли. Я заказал столик на 8. This is one of the coolest viewpoint in the city. Just believe. First, you need to buy a ticket. For this, you need to queue. And then queue once again, already to go in. The tower was built in the 14th century. Height 67 meters. It's six floors. Luckily, you only need to walk up two of them. But you have to walk down on the road, no elevators. And now we are on a train station. Here James Bond of course also appeared, but it's not so important. The famous Orient Express departed and arrived here, about the murder in which Agatha Christie wrote. The station was built in the end of the 19th century. Specifically, trains no longer run here, suburban trains stop a little further. Express usually went from Istanbul to Paris and was a real example of close and well. Be quiet at the station, don't disturb this cute fluffy caretaker sleep. For passengers arriving by Orient Express, a special hotel was built in Rotmelis. That's where I'm heading. I'll spend one night like an aristocrat. Remember the name. Para Palace 
Hotel, Agatha Christie, Ernest Hemingway, Leon Trotsky, and Joseph Brodsky stayed here. And now just me, simple guy, Anton. There is a restaurant called Agatha. There is room 411 where she usually stayed, but to be there you have to pay a little more. I live next door in room 417, it's more affordable. There is a detective story that happened to Agatha Christie in the best tradition of her novels. In 1926, she found out about her husband's betrayal, suddenly sped off in an unknown direction, abandoned the car by the lake, and for 11 days no one knew where she was. Plenty of newspapers have been written about this mystery, and the writer was kind of hanging out at this hotel. She stayed here before, always in the same room. Nearly 50 years later, Warner Brothers even wanted to make a movie about it. They turned to a psychic who allegedly communicated with the spirit of Agatha Christie and got the information from her that she hid the key under her floor. But no one could figure out what this key was from. Plus, the producers of the film could not agree with the management of the hotel, so the movie didn't happen. Here we can find a replica of this key. But I would not like to find the host of Agatha Christie. filmed yet, but I'm sure it won't be for long. The Atatürk Cultural Center was opened in 1969, but a year later there was a fire during a performance with the symbolic name The Crucible. No one was hurt but scenery and outfits. In 2008 it was decided to reconstruct the building, and only at the end of October 2021 the center opened. The local library is just fantastic, I advise everyone. There is also a design shop, a bookstore, exhibitions and a theater. Entrance to library is free, the main thing is to keep quiet. So, our adventure is soon over. Istanbul is truly, incredibly cinematic. A heaven for spies, writers, lovers of detective stories and adventures. I hope you enjoyed this episode and that your upcoming trips to Turkey will be incredible in their own way. Bye-bye!